Welcome to the special report on COVID-19, brought to you by CNA TV. Welcome to the NACA COVID-19 report. I am your host, Dane Henning. Caregivers on the front line of the coronavirus, like those in the nursing homes in the nation, could see a pay increase of up to $25,000 under a federal lawmaker's proposal. Senate Democrats unveiled the HEROES Fund proposal last week. Their proposal, described as a pandemic premium plan, aims to reward, retain, and recruit those on the front line of the pandemic. Under the plan, workers would see a premium pay increase of up to $25,000 or a raise of $13 per hour from the start of the pandemic until the end of 2020. It also calls for a $15,000 incentive for essential worker recruitment efforts. NACA suggests you contact your congresspeople if you support the bill to let them know. An easy way to find those that represent you in Congress and get their contact information is to go to whoismyrepresentative.com and simply type in your zip code. Also, providers are being urged to report all COVID-19 positive cases to state survey agencies and local health departments, along with residents, family, and staff. This is an effort to secure needed testing and personal protective equipment. Without accurate case numbers, it makes it incredibly difficult to determine the supply prioritization of both testing and PPE, especially with these resources being in an extremely short supply. CMS could use the data and collaborate with other federal agencies to target the PPE and the tests. Without proper PPE, caregivers are putting themselves at significant risk of contracting the virus. And without testing, facilities will have a difficult time fighting COVID-19 spread. If a building can find out that it has COVID in the building with the tests, they can isolate it. Communication about the disease with residents, staff, and families is also incredibly important. With facilities closed to visitors during the pandemic, many family members are concerned about how their family members are coping during this time. The mother of a resident who died of the pandemic in Seattle nursing home recently filed a lawsuit against the company that owns the facility, Life Care Centers of America, accusing the company of hiding facts about the outbreak before her mother died. Thank you very much for joining us on this COVID-19 report, and we'll see you next time.